Wildfires is the main reason so many California insurers are canceling homeowner policies, taking homeowners by surprise. But sometimes the so-called risk does not add up. KTV's Tom Vakar live tonight in the newsroom with the story of one man struggling to figure out how to replace his insurance. Tom. Well, think about this one. Homeowners insurance cancellations are becoming all too common and it's driving the competition to dwindle as well. Joe Pokron says he has never made a claim with Geico, which sold him a bundle of policies, including auto. But Geico farmed his homeowner's policy out to an insurer named Stillwater. I was notified by Stillwater um, that this will not be renewed, and I received a letter from Geico that it will not be renewed as well. The reasons? Branches overhanging his home and an inability to access his backyard. I was never notified that anybody was stopping by to assess the backyard. He's willing to abate any hazard, even recently having trees encroaching his property cut back. And get this, in this neighborhood, the power lines, a key cause of wildfires, are actually buried underground. Nonetheless, he's scrambling to find a new policy if he can. Consumer advocate Amy Bach is with United Policyholders. Um, insurance companies do have to give you a discount if you can establish that you've reduced your wildfire risk and you meet certain standards. Harvey Rosenfield is father of 1988's Proposition 103, which mandates that insurers justify and get state approval for home and auto insurance rate increases, as well as treat customers across the board fairly. It's unlawful for insurance companies to just decide on a whim that they're going to pull out of selling new customers or pull out of uh, as non-renewing existing customers. That could be tough because mega insurers, State Farm and Allstate, have announced they'll not sell new California policies, but will keep their existing ones. That we're in the middle of an insurance company insurrection in California, and they have to wait for the commissioner's review and approval, and they're not doing it. When the insurance company decides that they don't want to take the risk anymore, they just they just basically flush the state down the toilet. That's not allowed under Proposition 103. So if the state won't enforce the law, what are we left with? Insurance companies are free to non-renew um, and refuse to write, um, at, you know, as long as they are being consistent with their with their underwriting rules, right? As long as they're not discriminating. And consider this. We repeatedly, repeatedly tried and could not reach either Geico nor Stillwater, even after leaving messages. Tom Vacar, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Tom.